from Malaysia, Japan, Pakistan, China, Singapore, South Korea, Brunei Darussalam, Sri Lanka, the Philippines, Australia, Jordan, Yugoslavia, Nepal, Indonesia and Hong Kong. Live from the Putra World Trade Center, Kuala Lumpur, TV3 and Malaysia Airlines present the Abu Golden Kite World Song Festival 1989. And now, please welcome your hosts for the evening, Mahathir Lokman and Juan Zaleha. Terima kasih. Salam sejahtera. Dan selamat datang ke Pesta Lagu Sedunia ABU Golden Kite 1989 di Putra World Trade Center Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Hello everyone, a very good evening and welcome to the ABU Golden Kite World Song Festival 1989 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Welcome back to the ABU Golden Kite World Song Festival 1989. Saleha, let us tell them a little bit about the, the event tonight. It's Although this is our third Golden Kite World Song Festival, jointly organized by TV3 Malaysia and Malaysia Airlines, it is our first joint production and participation with the Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union, or ABU. The ABU Golden Kite World Song Festival this evening will feature top composers and entertainers from 15 participating nations. The nations are China, Japan, Nepal, Malaysia, Korea, Jordan, Hong Kong, Australia, Yugoslavia, Brunei Darussalam, Sri Lanka, Singapore, Philippines, Indonesia, and Pakistan. I think we should say hello to Singapore because they are receiving us live. Oh, yes. Pakabas hello Singapore. Singapore and also another very special hello to Brunei Darussalam who's also receiving us loud and clear I hope Apa Pakabas kabar Brunei, Brunei. <laughs> sehat sehat saja ya okay I think we also have to introduce to everyone the panel distinguished panel of judges mm -hmm. there will be one judge representing each participating nation yes. which makes it a total of 15 judges plus one chief judge let us meet the judges now we'll meet um, from China Mr. Sun Chiang Yang. Please welcome from Japan, Mr. Akira Yoshigi. And from Nepal, please welcome Mr. Narayan Gopal Gubachaya. Hosting country, Malaysia, please welcome Punche Ahmad Nawab. Mr. Lee Bong Hee from the Republic of Korea. And let's hear it for Jordan, Mr. Murid Hamad. Let's say hello to Mr. Lau Lo from Hong Kong. Please welcome Mr. Bill Motzing from Australia. And Mr. Sylvia Hoon from Yugoslavia. Dipersilakan Encik Awang Abdul Rahman Sia from Brunei Darussalam. Please welcome from Sri Lanka, Mr. S. Ilisinghe. 
And from Singapore, we have Encik Sadli Ali. Mr. Antonio C. Barrero from the Philippines. Judge number 14 from Indonesia, Mr. Hen Enteng Tanamal. From Pakistan, Mr. Abbasi. And to the final one, the boss of all judges, the Chief Judge, Dr. Vance Hall from Great Britain. First, a short history of the Song Festival. It was first held on the, under the Golden Kite World Song Festival banner in November 1984. Both TV3 and MAS, or Malaysian Airline System, as joint organizers, went on to host the second Golden Kite World Song Festival in January 1986. The ABU Popular Song Contest was first held in Singapore in 1985, and New Zealand played host when the second song contest was held in Auckland in 1986. The third song contest was held in Malaysia when Radio Television Malaysia, RTM, played host to the gala event in 1987. This evening, we'll see the advent of the first time ever joint ABU Golden Kite World Song Festival, which will be held in Kuala Lumpur for five consecutive years. As you can see from the visual, you just saw from the visual, Malaysia Airlines as joint organizers welcoming the participants. And also, all entries this evening, ladies and gentlemen, will be accompanied by the Kuala Lumpur Orchestra under the direction of Anche Johari Saleh. Shall we welcome the first contestant? Yes, and so now um, we'll go on to our first entry. And um, please welcome from the People's Republic of China. And here's Wu Shen, China's representative. Not bad. Being the last to arrive, still had that spare time to squeeze some sightseeing just to get that familiar feeling of Malaysia. And of course, some shopping at one of Kuala Lumpur's favorite spots, the mall. Please welcome composer, the Chinese composer, Mr. Liu Xing. Thirty-three-year-old Mr. Liu Xing is a graduate of the Central Conservatory of Music in Beijing. A member of the Delegation Chinese Musicians Association, Liu Xing is currently the composer with the Railway Engineers Headquarters in the Chinese capital city. Twenty of his compositions has won, have won various music prizes in China, six of which came out tops, and apart from writing songs, Liu Xing also composes musical scores for the symphony and also for the piano. And tonight, Liu Xing's composition is entitled, A Village Girl. And to present Liu Xing's composition is 23-year-old popular recording artist, Hu Yue. Hu Yue will be accompanied by traditional instrumental artists, Chen Shuli on the Panhu and Li Yanung on the Sonak. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the People's Republic of China's entry, A Village Girl.
from the People's Republic of China. We'll go on to our second entry from the land of the rising sun, Japan. Composer for Japan is Kei Sukehama, and representing him is singer Saori Hareyama. 16-year-old Saori, who is accompanied by her mother, is fascinated with the Temple of Fine Arts in the Batu Caves. The intricate sculptures in the limestone caves is a must for every visitor to Kuala Lumpur. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the musical director of Japan representing Mr. Keisuke Hama, Mr. Takeo Murajiro. The composer, Mr. Hama, age 42, was born in Sapporo City, northern Japan. Hama became well known when his composition, Terminal Station, became a hit in Japan in 1971. 1973 saw him winning the prestigious Japanese Records Grand Prize and was awarded the best composer for his song and Kobe, sung by Hiroshi Uchiyamada and Cool Five. In 1980, Mr. Hama again emerged as top prize winner in the Japanese Popular Song Contest. And Mr. Hama's entry tonight is entitled Sugaru Jongara Otaka Uta, which will be sung by Ms. Saori Hariyama. The meaning of the song is the improvisation of the shamisen for the song of man from Sugaru. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Japan's entry, Sugaru Jongara Otaka Uta.
Namo arigato gozaimashita to our representative from Japan. What was that instrument she was playing, Mabe? Saori was playing that, that fantastic instrument called the shamisen, or the traditional um, guitar of the Japanese people. And accompanying her was Mr. Hideo Aso playing the big drum, the wadako. Mm -hmm. Right before we move on to our next entry, first a message from our sponsors. And you are watching the, thank you. You're watching the ABU Golden Kite World Song Festival 1989 live from the Putra World Trade Center in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And wow. our next entry is from the enchanting mountain kingdom of Nepal, home of the Himalayas. Sambujit Banskota had a swell time shopping for handicrafts at Kuala Lumpur's Karyanika Traditional Handicraft Center. Accompanied by lyricist Sud Bahadur, the duo seemed to have a tough time deciding what to buy. At last, Sambujit decided on a costume that made him look just like a Malay warrior. Please welcome the composer from Nepal, Mr. Sambujit Banskota. Mr. Sambujit Banskota is currently resident composer with the Royal Nepal Academy. A familiar figure in the Nepalese music circles, having served in radio and television in Nepal. Mr. Sambujit has also won numerous awards as a singer, lyricist and composer. Sambujit's song this evening is in his native language, in Nepalese, entitled Kanchile Kumani Katmandu Sahara, which means, oh the desire in me to take my beloved to see the city of Kathmandu. And to present the song is a recording artist trio. Prakash Shrestha, Mira Rana and Om Bikram Bishta. Accompanying vocals by Sambujit and Subbahadur. Traditional instruments by Raj Kapoor playing the Madal and Pimrana on the Murchunga and flute. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nepal's Kanchilai Gumanu Kathmandu Sara. Pulle, Tessa, Tama, Tibi 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 Pulle, Tessa,
To our Nepalese representatives, Tanevale, which means thank you. Yes, Nepal is a very beautiful country with beautiful sure, people. I'm sure. And I just love the song, the title of the song. Can, can I say it? Oh, you say it. Can't you like Mani Katmandu Sara? And I would really like to take my beloved to see the city of Kathmandu. I can change it to Can't you like Mani Kuala Lumpur Sahara? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my beloved to Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> anyway. We'll go to our fourth entry, back home to the hosting country, Malaysia. Here's Adnan Abu Hassan at the Merdeka Square in front of the Sultan Abdul Samad building, saluting at the Malaysian flag, 150 meters high, the tallest flagpole in the world. Hmm, should I have been an architect? Or an engineer, maybe, to fix this antique drinking fountain? No. I'll stick to composing. That's my business. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Malaysia's composer, Adnan Abu Hassan. <laughs> 28-year-old Adnan is a graduate of the U.S. Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. Adnan started playing the piano at the age of seven and is regarded as one of Malaysia's top composers and music producers. Prior to his current appointment as artist and repertoire manager with CBS Records Malaysia, Adnan lectured part-time in the music department at the Mara Institute of Technology in Shah Alam, Selangor. Two of his earlier compositions also qualified for the first and second Golden Kite World Song Festival. And to present Malaysia's song entry, composed by Adnan, is Lisa Aziz who will be backed by Azman and Azlina Buhasan. Adnan's composition is entitled Jalinan Bertahta in Bahasa Malaysia, which means the throne of love. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Malaysia's Jalinan Bertahta. Cahaya pun nama merahikan kita. 
Terima kasih. Thank you, Malaysia. And we'll take a short break before we return with the Republic of Korea and Jordan. Don't go away. The ABU Golden Kite World Song Festival 1989 continues. We move on to our next entry to the country that hosted the 24th Olympiad, the Republic of Korea. Once again, it's back to the tourist attraction of Batu Caves in Kuala Lumpur. With a cool, refreshing drink in hand, Korean composer Hyu Sang Yu, an animal lover, had time to feed the guardians of the temple. Batu Caves, with its 300 steps, is a task for the energetic. But for Hyu Sang Yu, 150 was quite enough. From Korea, please welcome composer Hyun Song Yu. <laughs> Hyun Song Yu is currently a composer with the Whitehead Mountain Productions in Seoul. A graduate of the Sorabul Art University in music, he has produced several albums. Sang Yu was also a former member of the popular group of the 70s called Last Chance and has won numerous musical awards in Korea. And his composition tonight will be... And to present the composition is Korean teenage pop idol Lee Ji Yoon. Ji Yoon will be accompanied by Kim In Ju, Che Soon Sung and Ji Myung Ja. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Republic of Korea's Love for Night.
감사합니다. 감사합니다. To Republic of Korea for their love for night. Are you enjoying yourself, Mother? Very much. Very hot and very <laughs> lovely. <laughs> All the contestants in their national costumes. Some of them not in their two national costumes. They are so lovely. Yes. And I think we are learning a lot, especially how to say thank you in each language Different of the participating yes. nation. And all this song and dance really gets to you and you want to get up and join them. Yes, I wish we could, but unfortunately, the organizer says no, just sit down and announce. <laughs> anyway, we'll go on to our next entry. Please welcome the Kingdom of Jordan in West Asia. For the Jordanians, headed by composer Musa Faza, a trip to the Bukit Chiraka Agricultural Park in Shah Alam Slango was quite refreshing. Only 25 kilometers from busy Kuala Lumpur, Musa and company had a great time visiting a rubber plantation, a paddy field, a forest reserve, even an aviary. They just loved the greenness of the place and its flora and fauna. Jordan is represented by composer Musa Faza. Let's welcome him. Musa comes from the family full of traditional music. His father is a renowned pianist and performer in Jordan, playing the classical piano. And he's 30 years old. He will be 30 years old this November, he told mm -hmm. me. And um, after completing high school, Musa Faza studied piano and music composition in England. And his song this evening is entitled Love, Love. Almost all the contestants are using love as the theme. Anyway, to deliver Musa Faza's Love, Love is a group called Hot Ice, formed in 1986, in which Musa is a founder member, together with Rania Kamhawi and Kusai Zuraikat. Ladies and gentlemen, from Jordan, Hot Ice presents Love, Love. Love on me, still you won't believe That I have all the love you need To make you like a queen Everyone around you Won't be your day so much For a girl like you I can still recall the first time Oh baby, I can feel it on my lips When love, love became a lie Love became a lie Love, a lie in me Love you smile, love you touch Love your style Everything about you Drives me wild Now that I've found you I keep telling you again and again How much I really care for you I can still be called the first time We ever Yeah. 
Shukran Gazilan. Thank you to Hot Ice from Jordan. Fantastic group. Yes. Have you have you been in love, Mahade? Me? Have you? No, I asked you first. <laughs> I can't tell you because we have to break for commercial now. We'll return with more of the ABU Golden Kite World Song Festival 1989 with Hong Kong and Australia. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hong Kong. From Hong Kong, we have Douglas Lee Kintak. Hey Douglas, how Pinto. That's where are you going in Cantonese? He says he has heard so much about one of Kuala Lumpur's landmarks, the magnificent Dayabumi Complex, an architectural blend of East and West. And he just had to see it for himself. And from Hong Kong, let's say hello to composer Douglas Lee Kin Tak. <laughs> this talented composer has produced several albums for popular Hong Kong recording artists. His work, All About A Long, a theme song from the movie of the same title, shot him to fame. 29-year-old Kin Tak is a graduate of uh, the University of Calgary in Canada, majoring in psychology. His love for music made him choose to concentrate full-time on the competitive music industry in Hong Kong, and he says that he liked to leave behind psychology for the time being. This is Douglas' first international song competition, and he hopes to participate in more. And to present his composition is 22-year-old popular actor and singer, Timothy Wong Ye. Douglas' song this evening is in Cantonese, Who Would Care For Us? Ladies and gentlemen, Hong Kong's entry.
way downward to Australia. Here's Paul Celeste, our Australian composer, spending some time at the Pirami Memorial Museum in Stapa, Kuala Lumpur. Paul's love in music made him want to learn more about other great musicians like the late Pirami. The museum, which was once Pirami's residence, houses memorabilia of the late legendary, versatile Malaysian entertainer. Please welcome Australia's Paul Celeste. <laughs> Paul is the youngest composer out of the 15 composers tonight. He will be 18 years old in, on October 24th, he says. And he was born in Odessa. And in 1979, Paul started studied studying music mm -hmm. intensively. And, and um, I think when he he moved to uh, Australia. Australia, with his yes. And um, having studied piano when he was four, Paul also studied the organ, developing electronic music techniques such as synthesizing and sequencing. It was then a natural progression to songwriting and a keen musical interest in performing. Paul also was the second prize winner in the Sydney Young Composers Competition in 1987. There was such an accomplishment for a person of very, very, very young in Australia at 16, right? Mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight Paul will sing his own composition entitled Come With Me, accompanied by Melanie Kate and Jody Cole. His musical director is Mr. Matthew Krell. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Australia's Paul Celeste with Come With Me. Amongst the clouds Do you feel pain Or is it just the rain Is it just the rain Dividing us I'm to be 
Please welcome Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia's composer is Rinko Tutic, and representing him is singer Massimo Savic. Massimo took time off from the hectic rehearsal schedule to indulge in a little art appreciation session. We may not house works of Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, or Picasso, but certainly the Kuala Lumpur National Art Gallery has a fascinating collection of local works of art. Composer for Yugoslavia is Rinko to teach. Unfortunately, Zrinko is unable to attend tonight's show and will be represented by his singer, Massimo Savic. Please welcome Massimo Savic. Zrinko to teach was born in Banja Luka in the heart of Yugoslavia. 34 year old Zrinko is a well known lyricist and singer. At the age of 18, Zrinko came to Zagreb where he formed and led a rock group called Selekeya. With four albums to his credit, Zrinko also writes children's songs and musicals for television, and his composition tonight is in Serbo-Croatian, entitled Ponovo Zajedno, which means Together Again. And to present his song is Massimo Savic, who has six albums to his name. He will be accompanied by Dragana and Oliveira. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yugoslavia's Ponovo Zajedno. <laughs>
Thank you. To Yugoslavia, we wish them Hvala Lepo, which means thank you. We go back to this royal nation who's receiving us live. Hello, Bruna. Brunei Darussalam. Brunei Darussalam's composer, Awang Omar Ali Tua, had a date in Shah Alam, the Selangor state capital, with his singers. The majestic Sultan Salahuddin Abu Aziz Shah Mosque, the largest in Southeast Asia, together with the tranquil lake and the surrounding landscape and modern building architecture, makes Shah Alam one of the popular and rapidly developing residential and commercial centers in Malaysia. Sekali lagi apa kabar penonton-penonton di Brunei? Dipersilakan Wakil Brunei Darussalam, please welcome Brunei Darussalam's composer, Awang Omar Ali Tuah. This 36-year-old versatile musician is resident composer and arranger with the radio television Brunei Orchestra. Awang Omar Ali has represented Negara Brunei Darussalam in the 1987 ABU Popular World Song Competition in Kuala Lumpur. His composition tonight is entitled Fantasy. And to present fantasy is Awangku Zanal Abidin, Pengiran Haji Puteh, who will be accompanied by Suhaimi Noraini and Nur Suryani. And let's welcome Negara Brunei Darussalam with fantasy.
Merci. Ladies and gentlemen from Brunei Darussalam in the island of Borneo, we'll go westward to the exotic island of Sri Lanka. The Kuala Lumpur Central Market attracted our composer Deepa Milton Desanayaka from Sri Lanka. The Central Market, now a historical building, is the center for the arts and crafts and traditional exhibitions and performances. Deepa was so intrigued with the atmosphere of the market and the similarities of many of the exhibits on display and on sale with those at home. And it's conference time with fellow colleagues on how much to spend at the Central Market. Please welcome Sri Lanka's composer Deepa Milton Dasanayaka. Deepa Milton Dasanayaka is a graduate in music from the Bhatkanda University in India. Deepa, who excels on the sitar, was responsible for the direction of musical scores in 125 Sinhalese films. This 47-year-old father of three is currently the music edu education officer of Sri Lanka's Western Province. Deepa Milton Dasanayaka's composition this evening will be in Sinhalese. It's called Vanantare Gana Vanantare which means, O oh Forest, you are our heritage. Please his, welcome. His composition this evening, sorry Zaleha, will be <laughs> sung by 16-year-old Samita Kumari Modun Kutua and accompanied by Hemapala Pereira on flute, Primadasa Modun Kutua on cymbals, and Piyasara Shilpadipati on drums. And now please welcome Sri Lanka with a song in Sinhalese, Vanantara Gana Vanantara.
across the causeway Our and receiving us live to Fascinating Singapore. For Singapore's Nyon Hok Sing, a morning stroll through the lush oil palm estate just outside Kuala Lumpur is an experience. Malaysia is one of the main producers of palm oil in the world. The fruit of oil palm has many nutritional values, including vitamin E. Health-conscious Hok Sing just seems to love them. Want to have some? Uh-oh, it's back to KL for rehearsals again. A special hello to Singapore. Ni hao, vanakam, apa kabar? Anyway, please welcome Singapore's Nyon Hok Seng, the composer. Hok Seng is a 29-year-old aircraft mechanic with the Singapore Air Force. He's taking part in, for the first time in an international song competition, and he says he will never ever stop from now. And he began his musical career at the age of 14, where a year later he started a musical group. At 18, Hok Seng grouped with the three other musicians to form a quartet, performing at night spots and functions during his free time. Hok Seng has been composing songs for friends and professionally. Tonight his entry is I Want to Remember. And presenting Yon Hok Seng's composition is versatile and popular Singaporean entertainer and recording artist, Miss Christina Ong. Ladies and gentlemen, the Republic of Singapore with I Want to Remember. Seseni Rumban Nandri, terima kasih, man. Thank you, Singapore. We'll take a short break before we'll come back with representatives from the Philippines, Indonesia, and Pakistan. Region, let us meet our next musical ambassador from the Philippines. Dressed in his traditional Filipino barong tagalog, Daniel Estan spent his free time studying the architectures and designs of various buildings in Kuala Lumpur. The railway station and its adjacent administrative building was built in the early 1900s. 
The Moorish architectural designs of the building poses not only as a historical landmark, but managed to captivate the hearts of many visitors to the city. From the Philippines, composer Daniel S. Tan. Daniel is a Bachelor of Music graduate from the University of the Philippines. Majoring in composition, Danny has been greatly involved in several song festivals at home and in the region. Danny, as he's affectionately called, will be 30 years old soon. Has represented the Philippines in the first ABU Popular Song Festival in Singapore 1985, the first ASEAN Festival of Songs in Brunei Darussalam in 1986, and the 1987 Tokyo Music Festival. Earlier this year, he also participated in the sixth ASEAN Popular Song Festival in Manila. Danny's song tonight is Easy to Love You. And to present his song is popular award-winning Filipino entertainer, Ivy Violan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Republic of Philippines with Easy to Love You. was a great one. Salamat po, Pilipinas. Thank you, Philippines.
Ma Orut Mangun says apa kabar dong or hello from Indonesia to the animals. Let's hear it from Indonesia. Aku suka, kamu suka.
Guest of honor, Dr. Mohamed Desafachi, chairman of TB3, to present the prizes. The envelope, please. Here you are. For the best performer award category, third place and a cash prize of US $2,000 goes to. Miss Jin Young Lee of, so of Korea. Congratulations, Republic of Korea. Jin Young Lee. Prize and winner of 5,000 US dollars for best performance category. And it goes to Ivy Violan from the Philippines. Congratulations, Ivy. Well done to Ivy Violan from the Philippines. You have seven thousand dollars. Do you want to do this, Mahade? Your my pleasure. It's all yours. Go on. <laughs> First prize, best performer award, goes to Hari Mukti of Indonesia. Tahnia. <laughs> Setinggi tinggi tanya kepada Republik Indonesia, Hari Mukti dan the Jeronimo Cantanora, or Cantanora Jeronimo. <laughs> Position. Mm -hmm. And for third placing, ladies and gentlemen, can I have the envelope, please? All right. Third placing for best original song. We shall also carry a cash prize of 3,000 US dollars goes to the song Jalinan Bertahta, Adnan Abu Hassan, Malaysia. Congratulations. Malaysia. Tahnia Malaysia, Adnan Abu Hassan, Jalinan Bakhtata, the throne of love. And now, second place and winner of US 7,000 cash prize in the best original song category is... <laughs> Come With Me by Paul Shalas, Australia. Fantastic birthday present for Paul. It will be 18 on the 24th of October. Good work, Congratulations. Paul. And we are ready for the final one. The best original composition for the ABU Golden Kite World Song Festival 1989 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And it goes to Ready? Okay. Easy to love you, Daniel Khan, Philippines.
Congratulations to the winners and to the others. Don't be disappointed. The participation was great. Congratulations. Let's hear it again for the Philippines. Daniel Estan, easy to love you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Don't forget, for the rest of the participants, this may not be your last entry because the joint ABU Golden Kite World Song Festival will be held for five consecutive years in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and you can try your luck again next year. Yeah, next year. And now the winning song. Easy to love you, the Philippines, Daniel Estan, sung by Ivy Yola. <laughs> Song.